Aloha, fellow cancer warriors, friends, and family. Jilly Bean here to make my part two lung biopsy video as promised. And uh, today is August 9th, 2021. It's about 11.45 in the morning, and I'm already back home from my surgery. About to take off my wristbands and unpack all my belongings. Uh, I would just like to start out by saying thanking everybody for all the prayers and the love and the support. I have amazing, amazing, amazing positive news to report. I didn't actually have to have the lung biopsy surgery after all. And it, this was a complete shock and a surprise and a blessing. And I, I'm beside myself. I hope I can get through the video without crying. I just... I'm super grateful to everybody for the prayers and the love and I know it's because of all of your prayers that I'm not having the surgery and God definitely has a hand in my life I've known it before I've always known it but now I can truly say today that I had a miracle I so I went in today with the anticipation of well it started off a little bit confusing I was up at 4 in the morning to leave the house at 5 and check in for 630 at my hospital Queens and I got down there and reported to the outpatient surgery center as I was supposed to. And then when I got there, they said, no, you're not supposed to be here. Go up to the cardiac floor instead. So I thought, okay. Then I got up there and I found out a different doctor was doing my surgery than I thought. And the anesthesiologist that I always request wasn't coming. So at this point, I'm kind of panicking. I'm very nervous. I was trying to take some deep breaths and say a little prayer Anyway, long story short, I spoke with my anesthesiologist's office, and the woman there named Noreen, she's great. She's the the front desk. Uh, she told me, no, I already talked to Dr. Blake Yoshida. He's my anesthesiologist that I always call, and he will be there at 8.30. Don't panic. And I thought, oh, please, God. So he did. So I, I went to the bathroom, and when I came back, I turned around, and I saw him on the computer. And these days, we're all masked and gowned, and you can't see anybody's face. And I said, Dr. Yoshida, is that you? And he turned around, and I saw it was his face, and I recognized him. And immediately, just a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders, and I felt relief. So now it's time to actually go in for the surgery. And... I talked with the surgeon in advance and he told me um, I was concerned about my Betty Gravel tattoo. Is she going to get clobbered <laughs> since you have to biopsy through it? And he explained the risks and the possible lung puncture. And if that happens, I'll need a chest tube. And sometimes there's what's called a pneumothorax where you can get uh, air in between the chest wall and the lung if it gets punctured he won't know if that happened till after the procedure is over and then I'll have another scan to check and might be short of breath and all this stuff if that happens you have to stay in the hospital a few days blah 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 blah, blah all these things okay so I'm a little nervous I'm always nervous before surgery even though today was going to make the 18th surgery but since I didn't have it I'm still on lucky number 17 and I actually was in number 17 sick bay, which that also made me feel comfortable because that's kind of my, one of my lucky numbers. And I was happy that what a coincidence I'm in 17, my number. And then when I saw Dr. Yoshida, I'm like, oh, I'm safe. Thank God. He's anesthetized me at least for 10 surgeries. And I worked with him and he's great. I feel comfortable. And like I said, his Noreen in the front desk, she's great. And anyway, long story short, the doctor is going to do the surgery, tells me, hey, I want to do a CT scan again, one more for the road before we actually operate, just to make sure I know exactly where it is, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, lo and behold, it's a miracle. I have the CT scan, and as it turns out, this the questionable spot apparently shrank down it's smaller than it was before and all they're going to do is monitor it and they said i need to go for ct scans every three or four months and i said i've been going already every four months and he said that's great continue on with it and so no surgery today i got to go home it's a miracle and 
The whole reason it happened is because of all your prayers. I know it. Here is actually, a, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Here's a picture of, that was my CT scan. And the spot down here in the corner, uh, the bottom, the spot on the very bottom right-hand side, that is my left lung, actually. It's reversed. See how it's lit up? That was the area they needed to biopsy, but apparently it's smaller than before. And I did have chemo again on Friday, so I'm sure it has to do with the chemo and the fact that all of you are praying for me and sending good vibes, and obviously Jesus is watching out for me yet again. And my Oma is up there watching. And um, it's great. So I got to go home. No incision. Now I'm just going to remove my all my hospital bracelets. and <laughs> So they fed me a sandwich and I went home. <laughs> That's it. I want to thank all of you so much for constantly being there for me. And oh, this is going to be hard to get off where my IV was. Oh, let me finish my video and I'll take this off. Anyway, I just want to share the good news with everybody and let everyone know I'm so thankful and appreciative and grateful for the prayers and the love and the support and God bless all of you and I will continue to keep you all updated for all you other folks out there that may also be going through cancer and in the same boat as me just remember keep your head up never ever 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 give up just keep the faith and know that things can work out for you. I'm living proof. I had a miracle today and I'm still here. I'm still in the game and you could be as well. Just hold on. Thank you and aloha and God bless. Enjoy your day everybody. And now I took off work for a whole week. I in order to prep for surgery. I cut my grass. I cleaned my house. I cooked food. I stocked up on groceries. It's great in here. Now I can just paint and play the guitar and goof off for a week. Oh, another blessing. <laughs> My tattoo's not ruined. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Aloha. <laughs>